Good morning, Master Trainer Peter here, and it's time for the first set of PT playlists for Fitness Boxing 2 Rhythm and Exercise for Nintendo Switch. For reference, my PT playlist series is sets of exercises to do within a video game where I structure them as best as possible with personal training theory. And I'll level with you, I've been kind of struggling with the fitness boxing ones. With a limited number of workouts and a lot of repeated moves, there's only going to be a limited amount that I can do as I can't separate or customise the workouts properly themselves. That doesn't mean that I'm going to make do, no, there's still quite a lot to make, so that's where we're going with this. The game actually tells you the main muscles targeted with the exercises, and I mean I could just do something focusing on those muscles, but there's a lot more supporting muscles that are used, and I feel you deserve something a little bit more interesting for the first one, so I'm actually going to do something dedicated for shoulder work. So the shoulders are obviously used a lot in fitness boxing too, so no matter what work you do you're going to get some use out of them, but there are certain exercises that really use them a bit better than others. As far as that goes, we're looking at straights and hooks, they are particularly adept for training the shoulders. You see where you are reaching over with the shoulders for the straights and the internal rotation with the hook, it trains them pretty well and these playlists should give a fun way to strengthen those tendons and the muscles across the upper back as well, your rhomboids, your traps and the tops of your lats as well. There's one further exercise that I feel works the shoulders well too, so that will be included and that is the block move. Now the detection on the block is notoriously bad, but there is a small amount of shoulder flexion there so it's going to help train the shoulders so it has been included. Now without further ado let's get into the playlists, ensure that you warm up, cool down properly, have your water and a towel ready and make sure you choose some good tunes as well, um, I just hit recommended on these playlists but yeah let's do it, let's go. So this first playlist features a few lower intensity movements with some higher intensity ones for the hook movement mixed in. Start with a straight combo number one on low intensity regular speed. This gives an efficient warm up giving some twisting motions as well. Keep on top of your form and keep your core braced the entire time as well for best posture. Next is block combo on low intensity regular speed. This gives a chance to practice the block but not at a tough intensity. Next is the first higher intensity exercise of this program, the body hook combo, regular speed of course. The crouches and twists with the upper body in addition to the shoulder movement will give you plenty of endurance work for the shoulders and across the upper body in general. Make sure when you do the hooks to keep the shoulder and elbow level for a better intensity and better effect. After that intense session go for beginner combo 1 on low intensity fast speed for some good active recovery before the final exercise which is hook combo 2 on high intensity regular speed. This will offer some different but equally tough movements for the shoulders with the repeated hooks. Well done, make sure you cool down efficiently. This second playlist is a little more intense with a few additional high intensity workouts and should be tackled once you're comfortable with your form. Start with the straight combo 1 on low intensity regular speed to make sure the shoulder capsule is nice and warmed up before body hook combo comes in with high intensity regular speed. There's a lot of dropping down and twisting when performing the hook for this one which makes it feel a little more intense and will really get your heart rate up. We then go for hook combo number 2 low intensity fast speed. This is active recovery, keeping your shoulder work up with the hooks and straight before block combo on high intensity regular speed. The blocks are tough to complete and the alternating shoulder twisting will be really good for training. This complements the next exercise, the body hook combo as well. This is a repeat of the one from earlier, with the same intensity and speed as well. And then we have a straight combo one as a half cooldown, low intensity with fast speed. The rotation with the hips and the snap of the hips is important to keep mind of to make sure that you don't overstretch. If you want to make this playlist even more challenging, swap out the high intensity for no mercy. Good going. So that's the first set of playlists for shoulder work. It's a bit rough, but I found that this combo is effective and I feel that it has worked my shoulders pretty well when I've done this. I hope you enjoy them. If there's a particular area you want to see trained with Fitness Boxing 2, let me know. I'm going to structure some abdominal work next and do some leg work soon after as well. It's pretty fun. If you've got any feedback, let me know in the comments and please like and subscribe for more content on Fitness Boxing 2 Rhythm and Exercise. Thank you so much for your time today. I will see you soon.